Bangladesh is the only country which has uh, engaged the two Asian giants, if I can term it like that. The important aspect, uh, I think Bangladesh has very successfully, amongst all the South Asian countries, I think Bangladesh is one country which has successfully managed to balance the India-China relations. So, even though China has got a very large presence in Bangladesh, which includes economic and defence, uh, but still Bangladesh has been able to reassure India from time to time that India's concerns will be fully met. So I think this high-level political assurance which has been given the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina personally, it has uh, very well acted uh, as a, a strong uh, it, the sort of uh, influence to overcome India's concerns of uh, presence of the Chinese in Bangladesh. At the same time, India continues to be concerned of the large military presence, particularly uh, for instance, the submarine base, which they say that China is going to make, there are China has already given them the submarines. So India is trying to build up its own defense cooperation with Bangladesh so that it can counter the Chinese influence there. And in, again, in that respect, I would say that uh, Prime Minister has assured India, but then uh, the Chinese are continuing to have a strong uh, influence as far as defense is concerned. Even yesterday, the Bangladesh uh, Chief of Air Staff, he was there in China and he was received by the Chinese Defense Minister. So you see the interaction, we cannot oppose or reduce, ask them to reduce that because they are a sovereign country. But we can correspondingly increase our defense cooperation with Bangladesh. I think Bangladesh has managed it uh, very, very well. Perhaps I think uh, the only country in South Eastern region which has very craftily have managed the relations both with India and China without raising the suspicion of one against the other. Uh, I would say that while Bangladesh welcomes India's investment and India's uh, you know line of credit and also the close trade and people to people contact as also at the same time uh, Bangladesh is part of the BRI the Belt and Road Initiative of China which India is opposed to. Uh, secondly uh, is the fact that uh, Bangladesh is very uh, clear that uh, it will not uh, take any steps uh, as far as China is concerned which may raise concerns in India. Similarly, it is also equally uh, will, will not take any kind of steps which may concern China. Uh, in a sense, uh, engaged India in getting the developmental aid and has engaged India in particular aspects like for example, cross-border energy trade, uh, the trade between the two countries, infrastructure development. It, and also India is providing uh, you know, capacity building and technical inputs to the Rupur uh, nuclear power plant which at one point of time China had uh, shown some interest. It also has engaged China. I would say that whereas there, is, there are certain concerns within India regarding uh, you know, the larger uh, Chinese uh, interest in developing ports very near to, uh, you know, near to uh, Bay of Bengal. Uh, but also at the same time, I think Bangladesh has taken China's uh, help in developing the Chittagong port, which actually is going to help India uh, the, for the import, export of goods from Northeast. Uh, second is there is also this Padma Bridge, which is being completed by China uh, with the Chinese aid, and that is going to uh, shorten the distance between uh, Calcutta and Dhaka. So therefore, not all the Chinese aid are bad. So I would say that uh, this is the only uh, the successful model uh, within South Asia, uh, Bangladesh is the only country which has uh, uh, engaged the two Asian giants, if I can uh, term it like that.